What's up guys and welcome back. Let's jump right into it. Today we're going to discuss the new hot topic for the finals which is the adding of the new specializations per class with a special focus today on the dematerializer. What a handful to say that might be my first comment but more seriously this feels like one of those events in the game that can absolutely completely change the game for better or worse and I thought it would be a very good way to kick off the season by discussing this topic. After season one uh, marked by very high high highs and very low lows, it did feel like we needed some kind of a new breath of fresh air. What Embark has decided to do is to switch around the specializations as well as the gadgets uh, within the builds and that has had a very big influence already on the meta and the way the game is played. So what I wanted to do today is to look into the new materializer and how this can actually influence your game and maybe help you reach those ranks you've never been able to reach so far. Well it is clear for most of us that the mid tier and the mid class is probably going to be the best class out there for season two getting ahead of the heavy and light class in many different aspects it is still difficult to decide whether the healing beam is still the way to go or if you should actually switch to the dematerializer specialization on a personal level while well, taking in consideration that the meta right now is orientating itself towards a double mid and light or heavy as a third player um, I would say that at least one of those should still have the healing beam but the second one should definitely go for the dematerializer because of the flank power it actually brings to your team which as we're going to see a little bit later in the video is something that highly influences the game right now and especially on higher tiers of the competitive scene of the finals this probably means that everybody now has a more key role approach to the game and that people should actually stick to what makes more sense to them specifically on the mid class if you do feel like you are a good support a good mentor please make sure to keep the focus on that specialization while maybe putting back a little bit of your DPS skills while on the other side you should have the dematerializer mid player who should be focusing more on the damage and bruising of the enemy if not to say the killing because they will be most of the time a little separated from their team trying to outflank the enemy team using what you and your heavy or your light build will be constructing on the front lines. On a more general level, I believe that players were looking maybe into more of a switch up in guns, maybe some kind of gun that would completely change the meta. I'm thinking the FAMAS itself, uh, where people were having high hopes that this would take the F car and the AK a little further away from the meta. So maybe there is some form of a disappointment towards the fact that the focus was put on the specialization rather than the guns themselves. But I think the general feeling is that this does bring a huge new level of complexity to the game and this seems to be received rather well from the community even though it does put the mid class forward again which was exactly what we faced on season one for the first half and here maybe players were expecting to have the light build put a little more forward while well, we do have the gateway grenade that has been added to the game among other great gadgets and weapons for the night class it still feels one step further down compared to the mid class and that feels like the general feedback coming from players seems to be aligning with that outcome. After already spending more than 30 hours on the mid class since the beginning of season 2 with the dematerializer, I wanted to now show you a series of small or longer videos showcasing the possibilities of the dematerializer, including cash out steals, flank possibilities, and even in some cases, as you will see, weird bugs that have not yet been patched or seen by Embark that come with the specialization. Please don't forget if you do enjoy the video don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel as you might have realized we are putting a lot of effort into raising this channel to new grounds don't hesitate to press on the like button and now enough talking let's get into the video oh you died boys hold on i'm gonna try something hell no okay hold on i'm gonna try something big brain time Rejoining the match. Give me a second. And there you go. The Kingfisher in prime position to take the victory. Wow, 
one out. Two up there. Hold on, I'll sink them. You boys it's in the kingfish make a bold statement with the first cash out of the match a majestic move from the kingfish opening vault four Point of this match. Heading to cash the out C. Are accessing Vault 3. Take me up, boys. Take me up. They're coming. Thank you. Team pushing. One down. The Vogues are re-entering the arena. Let's get airborne. The Kingfish just started to down. are not going through. Pink team on the roof. have recovered and respond. A shiny new vault just spawned, June. Let's see who gets to it first. Man, playing with D-Mod is such a pleasure.
in the arena. Team respawn. Jump pad ready. Thirty seconds left, June. Gah! I'm on the edge of my team. Boys. Unbelievable determination from the competitors.